guess we can do. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna start by scavenging in my room. And I got a bottle of alcohol. Salt. I can discard that for two bonus actions at another time. Wow, that's <laughs> booze increases Almost. your productivity. Apparently. apparently. <laughs> Don't ever watch my feed. <clears throat> And then I'm going to move. I've got speed two, so I'm going to go into this room. Okay. And then I'm going to go outside. I can go through windows, but doing so ends my move. So there's windows here with the drapes open. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, this is the one that will be smashed. Yeah, that's fantastic. This is the sitting room, right? Excellent. And uh, and then there's a door. Yeah, there are doorways. So when you move through a window, as soon as you go travel through it, your movement stops. In this case, it's already two spaces, so my movement's going to end anyway. Deal. And then I have a third action. I'm going to look here as well. Gross. Uh, so I'm you pick take, one and put one down. I'm going to take the shotgun shells and return this. Oh, I see. So you put them on top of the spaces so you know you have them. It's it's handy to do that. If Very you intuitive. To, no, it's great. It's useful. Uh, that's going to end my turn. All right. Miss you, Ed. Ed, you can do it. It's turn. I'm going to pick up this. Oh, look. I got chicken. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Chicken in the study, eh? That's... Discard to remove three wounds. Oh, wow. Wow. That is some healthy chicken. Yeah, considering Ed has four wounds, most people have four wounds, that's great. Uh, my second action will be move. Speed three, Ed's real fast. Two, per yeah, perfect. Just be aware. Oh, there's, there's a, a dead there's there. There's a dead in that room. Well, can I fight it? You can't fight him. You, you can fight it. Oh, I'm not allowed but it, to fight but it. But it won't die because of the um, current event. Oh, oh so yeah, it's just, no. I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> well, maybe avoid them for this turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you could go out on the porch. Come out on the porch. Yeah, and you have mm -hmm. one more action, so you can look at those two. Oop. It's a... well, we don't know. You get to pick one and put the other back. Oop. Leather gloves. Oh. Discard to steal an item from any other player. That would be great. In if, your area. If you happen to be a deadite. Yep. And that's it. Alright. Bobby Joe. You don't see. have to be a deadite. <laughs> I'm gonna check what's in the toilet. Wow, what's, in the, what's in the toilet? I got some shoes. I was, I was hoping it would be chicken. I was hoping it would be chicken. There's chicken in the toilet. And I can move two, so I'm gonna go one, two. Oh, you would. You totally would. Back to there, and now I can check yeah. that. Take that too. Oh, I wanted that one. Empty, nice. Let's Sorry. empty the house. No, okay. I just. Found it. You may now look at your corruption card. Ooh. But it is secret. Yeah. Okay. I will not show the camera. You can show the camera. Just, I, can I show the camera? You can show the camera. Put it, right, put it right here. You can show the camera. Oh, I'm not looking. <laughs> don't let me look. You guys get to see it. We don't know whether whether he's a deadite or not. Is Bobby Joe a deadite or not? Is that your action? So, uh, that was my pick up move pick up? Yep. Good. And then Ash takes a turn. All right. So I'm going to pick this up. I got, ooh, this is cool. I've got a pendant. Uh, human players only. Discard before you make a virtue check instead of rolling the dice. <sighs> yeah, that's just really good for me actually because I have a virtue of one, which means odds are I'm getting corrupt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go. I can, I can only move two, so I really can't get the double down like everyone else did because yeah. someone over here. Just be aware that one. the knights move one and attack on their turn. Oh, so those guys who are in the cabin are already God, one. Sorry, one, All the two. I'm gonna hit the sitting room. Then I'm gonna come up here and check out the work shed. Yeah, the work shed right. in that corner. That's the turn. That's the turn. So now, what happens at the end of a turn? Okay, after we've all done our turns and it comes back to start player, all of the deadites take a turn. So what do they do? They're, they have an artificial intelligence, and they're yeah. gonna move toward the nearest player. <laughs> Correct. So by shortest path. If there's a tie in the terms of the number of areas, so you're two areas away and I'm two areas away. Right, and we're yeah. both holding the same number of pages, which is a tiebreaker. Yeah. The start player chooses which path to the nearest. So where do you want to go? House. Put him in the house. Of course you do. <laughs> this one looks like Ed is three areas, and I am two areas, so he's this way. Okay. This guy, one, two, three. Yeah. One, two. Okay, he's going into the bedroom. Uh oh, I'm kiting them for you. Yeah. Here. It's one, one two, yeah. and one two to Ed. And uh, Ed, sorry, Bobby Joe is holding a page, yeah. so that's the tiebreaker. Okay, and excellent. I will choose to put him outside. Amazing. Okay, that's all the deadites for now. This new. event is gone. Now it's a new event. It is now a new turn. This passes to the next player. All right. Ed has an so extra. Ed is time. now the start player, and the event for the second round is. Did you hear that? Uh oh. Spawn a deadite on E, G, and I. E, G, and I, and I'll read the secondary effect. Yep. Secondary effect is, 
Any human player carrying two or more Necronomicon pages must immediately make a Virtue 2 check. Luckily for us, mm -hmm. there's only one, one Necronomicon one page in general. Um, there you go. I'll describe so that because we can't look at our corruption cards at all yet. You get you get to look at them the first time you collect a page, okay. or you're dealt another card from a virtue check. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait and find out. Oh, so we got the new deadites on the board, and it is now Ed's turn. Mm-hmm. Ed wants to pick this up. Oh, it was so good. You're gonna take that too, huh? Oh look, another pair of gloves. Oh my God. Okay, so none of her items are safe. Oh I did sticky finger. Yeah. This is crazy. So my second turn. Now I can fight this guy. Yes, you can move and then you can fight for your third one. Okay. So when you attack, you roll a number of dice equal to your attack score, which is two dice. So you get two instead of three. It depends on the character. Ashwell's yeah. three. Um, so you are looking to get one success for each enemy in the area you're fighting. So we got a deadite and a blank. What is that? That's a terrible roll. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> So, two things happen when you roll to attack. First, you defeat a deadite for every success you would roll. Which is a chainsaw. Yep. Yeah. But if you have more failures than successes, you suffer a wound. So the wound's these little red dots yep. here. That's there a blood splatter a token there splatter. that goes on your character card. Okay. If you take, you can hold four wounds. If you take a fifth, you're dead and you're So what happens when you, when you get defeated? You just kind of retreat back to the house? It depends on whether we know you're a deadite or not. Oh, interesting. If you're a deadite, you come back from a portal, you respawn because you're undead. Right. But if you're a human, you get to respawn in the cabin the following turn, almost like the start of the game. Very cool. Just go again. Okay. Okay. The trouble with being hit by enemies and taking wounds is you also lose your pages. Oh man, well she doesn't have any pages, so we're good. Yeah. So, whenever you roll more wounds, or sorry, whenever you roll more neutral results, or failures than successes, you're going to also make a virtue check. Okay. You only get wounded by failures, but you make virtue as long as you have more neutral results. Okay. You roll a number of dice equal to your virtue, one, okay. Yeah, I guess if you get a chainsaw, okay, you've passed you're your good. virtue check. If you didn't, if you got a blank or a skull, then, yep. you would get, you would, then you would take a corruption card. Correct. And then you could look at your corruption cards and find out. Yes. And the more corruption cards you get, the higher chances you are of becoming a deadite. Yeah, and the faster the game ends because we're dealing them all out. Oh boy. And I want to point out that no matter how many virtue dice you roll for one of those tests, you only need one success. So rolling mm. three dice if you're Annie is actually very good. Annie's real hard to make corrupt. Nice. All right. <sighs> so the end of Ed's turn. Very good. Right. Bobby nice. Joe time. I... You're going to have to roll to defend against that guy. On the enemy turn. Gonna Ed's got it. Somebody. Good thing I have chicken. Beat it with a yeah. chicken. <laughs> Two. At some point we will have to start cleaning these up, but it would be real good to have some actual yeah, weapons. Yeah, it would be nice to get a chainsaw. There are four weapons in the deck. The Kandarian plus, dagger. Plus the shotgun shells. Yeah. The axe looks pretty gross. Axe is good, you get to reroll a die. I kind of want to get the holy water and find out who's a... Uh, yeah. I want to find out what that card was when he showed it to the camera. <laughs> I know. And the audience knows, but yeah. we don't know. There you go. I'm gonna jump out the window. You can do it. Yeah, jump out the you window. You can do and it. Fight put you back. Okay, do on, it. Let's try. All right. What's Bobby Joe's attack? Two. 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 All right. There's four. There's a portent for you. Yep. Come on, chainsaws. Oh, nice. One dead chainsaw dead. and more successes than neutral, so you don't even check for corruption. He's Boom. just carved up. Bobby Joe, go go, Bobby Joe. Move. Attack. Yeah, so move attack, attack. Thing, yep. I'm gonna pick these guys up. You Take sure a look. Will. And keep the one I want. Uh -huh, yes, will. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> you will pick these up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, another Necronomicon page. Oh boy. Uh oh. One more page. You guys know. You, the audience, so, know whether he's a dead. A couple or not. of cool things happen when you have Necronomicon pages. You can try your hand at a little bit of magic. Ooh. There's a list of spells on your player board on the side there. And each, page, each spell requires a certain number of pages in your possession to cast. Most of them are very powerful effects, but have the chance of making you do virtue checks as well, so Ooh, you can become corrupt. The spells. And a couple of them can, or well, one of them can only be used by deadites as well. <laughs> oh, well, we'll find out if he starts using that one. Yes. Do you okay. cast your pages when you cast? Nope. You just have them. So you just have access yeah. to that stuff? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Okay. Yes, so one of the spells is to try and open or seal the portal, and by doing that you're putting them on the track when you're at the portal's location. I can't get to this woodshed without kicking this deadite's butt, so I'm gonna go... You can move through them. Yeah, mm, yeah? Well, now I wanna get stuck there. Yeah, you only have two move, right? So I'm gonna go... And your movement one... ends for going out a window. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
So it's going to take you Come on. three actions Actually, to Actually, I can go shot. one, two, right? Yep. Check these out. Yep, run past the deadite in the Sick. hallway. I'll take a Necronomicon page. And then uh -huh. what I'll do is I will go one and end yep. my turn there. Yeah, and that's over there. Smart, right? Smart, smart. I, I guess. Go for it, Ann. Find out. Uh, I only have a measly one attack. I am a poor combatant. However, shotgun shells, y'all. I have shotgun shells. <laughs> So I can discard this token to make an attack uh, in either my current area or an adjacent area and ignore neutral or failure results. Yeah. Ooh, that's really good. It's less good for me because I only have one die. Can you trade stuff? Yes. As an action, you can trade items to another character in your area. Because that'd be really good with Ash's three attack. He's just... Yes. That's really good. I don't know if I trust you not to be a deadite, though. I don't even know if I'm a deadite. I haven't looked at my card yet. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I think it's too early to trust you. Uh, right. I am going to move into the workshed, search, and then move, I think. So let's go in here, look through the biggest pile. Anything good? Yeah. yeah. So what, what would stop anybody from just telling other players? Oh, because you don't know who the dead it is. We will. I can, I can tell you whatever I want about the contents of these tokens. Okay, because you're a deadite. Sure. <laughs> let's go with that. Maybe. Maybe. You don't, I don't even know yet. Uh, I think I'm going to take the flashlight. Nice, what's the flashlight? So the flashlight thing? is discard to flip tokens face up in any two areas adjacent to your current area and you can choose the area you're in. Nice. So if you want to search more, more quickly but at the cost of tipping your hand to everybody else, you can do that. I have one action left and discarding your items to do their effects is not an action. They don't cost actions. It's okay. just free. You can do as many as you want on your turn. So I think I'm actually going to use my last action to move out here. And then I'm going to... Discard the alcohol? For two bonus actions, yep. Wow, okay. So the alcohol's and gone. Every time yeah. you discard tokens, they're gone from the game. All right, that bottle of alcohol. It's good yeah, vintage. So I get two more actions. I'm going to look here. I'm going to take running shoes. Nice. That increases your speed. Yep. For one turn, yep. Hey, one more action. Uh, yeah, I think the last action... Some deadites coming after you, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to run over here. Buck, buck, buck. Oh. Sure. <laughs> all right, that's great. Next turn, I'll do flashlight. So first, now so we stuff. now we are at the corruption, or now we're at the next stage. Yeah. So and the, the event. So this guy is uh, one, two away from you, and he is one, two away from me. But you're holding the page. So that's holding the page. So there you go. This one here is closer to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this one is one, two there, and one, two here. I actually want to point out that start player chooses which of these two areas he's in because oh. they're the same distance. These ones, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, this guy is going to one of these two spaces. Oh, it's closer where would you to like this? Put, you to, to where would you like to go? Yeah, smarter. It's good. Um, and then this one here is going to go one, two, or one, two. So uh, Necronomicon pages. pages would be none, none, none of them. So. so you pick. Obviously that way. Okay. <laughs> Done. And then this one here is going to fight you. Yep. And this one here is going to go close to me. It's looks, only one, two like away a, or one, two. Oh, yeah. So, but I have pages and oh, yes, yeah. more pages. So we're going over here. Yep. Annie is, uh, or Bobby Annie Joe is the commander here. So now I have to roll. Yep. So when whenever enemies attack you, you must roll a number of dice equal to the enemies that are present. So it's one die. You need successes to be safe. Anything else causes you wounds and or virtue checks. Change up. Blank O's. Virtue check, no wound. Virtue check, no wound. So you're <laughs> in virtue one. Boom. Bum, Take bum, a corruption bum. card, Ed. And you can look at your cards now. You can. Oh, okay, you want to show? Okay, look at them, and if you want, you can show the camera. And we're not gonna. Yeah. Let, let us know when you're gonna show them. We're gonna look away. Ready? Okay, you show them right here. Oh. Oh, guys, what is it? Tell us. Start, <laughs> scre start screaming at the screen and tell us what's going on right now because there's two potential deadites. Oh man. Oh, Ed, you're always so corruptible. <laughs> <laughs> My virtue is only one. And as soon as we turn our back on you, just yeah. and that's all the that's all the movements. Okay, so now we flip the event. Yep. And the Necronomicon goes over to Bobby to Joe. Joe.